Hi guys, Yandre from Stallion Sound here. This is my first video I'm making for YouTube and it's going to be the first video of a long series of videos that I'm going to put on YouTube showing DJs how to get over certain problems in the DJ world. Anything from lighting, smoke machines, sound, trussing, you name it. I'm going to go over that things and uh, if you run into trouble you can ask me, leave a comment and I will make a video on that as well. Um, as of now I have a question from Newton2013. Now uh, let's go to that and have a look what he's asking. He asked, started using the C clamps, looking for a way to mount on horizontal beam pointing forward not down C clamps like to slide on beam and point down with 7 pounds put tape on beam under clamps waited 12 hours and they were pointing down again then he asked if he should use more tape well I think if you add more tape it might do the trick but I think I have a better solution for you um, behind me here I have a T-bar set up on a tripod so um, I'm going to show you how uh, I do it when I set up lights pointing out not from downwards and the brackets hanging this way the light itself pointing from the T-bar on a horizontal position so we're going to the trussing now I'm going to show you uh, how I do it okay so here you can see my tripod with my T-bar attached on top. Now most T-bars have something like this. Uh, mine is plastic in this case but I know other T-bars may, may have a metal one or aluminum or something else. Now on my T-bar you'll see there's two little bolts there. It's Allen cap screws. Now what they do they lock this plastic thing so that this bolt can't twist. Can't twist like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to loosen those two and then I'm going to twist this pole like this so that these holes here underneath those two holes that they point in this direction instead of downward. So let me quickly grab that tools and uh, I'll show you how I do it. Now here I have a normal Allen wrench and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen those bolts like so. There's one on this side, one on the other side, the back side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist. I'm going to twist this pole like this. So you can see the holes coming up there. Now now what you can do now is your lights can can be can you bolt on there and then they will be pointing in this direction instead of hanging from the bracket and coming out this direction you used uh, C clamps to do this job but I'm going to show you now how to bolt them on and then I might have an idea for your C clamps as well so what I'm going to do now is to tighten those two bolts again and uh, then I'm going to hang some lights on the T-bar and uh, show you exactly what I mean then uh, you'll have a better better view of things how it uh, is okay so now I have two lights on the T-bar pointing in this direction instead of hanging from a bracket now let me just give you a close up here from what I mean exactly you can see it goes through like this so uh, the bolts will be going through horizontally and this way it will take a lot more weight because uh, this plastic thing is designed to take a lot of weight and if you tighten that up correctly you can hang four five easy lights on here you can hang them and they won't uh, tilt like this with time so uh, that's basically it for the normal bolting bolting the lights to the trussing so now his idea of using a C clamp 
Now what I think you can do is um, a C clamp has a bolt as well, has a long bolt going that 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 tightens on the pole itself. So what you can do is you can use the C clamp and that bolt that tights on the, the trussing itself you can put that through the hole so that whole bolt goes through the hole and just tightens on the clamp at the back so it just goes through there then it is secure it can't go anywhere it is locked in place and it can't fall down and then what you can do is then the angle might be a bit off so you can just loosen those two screws there again and just turn it until the light hanging from the uh, hanging from the uh, the C clamp will point in this direction. So that you can do maybe, but uh, adding more tape to your trussing may be a little bit untidy. Um, you can try that, but uh, I prefer bolting my lights to my trussing. It's a lot safer and uh, easier as well, and it's a lot cheaper. So. Uh, you can try that once again just the, the, the C clamps bolt going through the pole and just so you just tight the C clamp all the way so that the bolt comes out at the other side so you use the C clamp as a bolt basically so you can try that maybe as for the for the the complete clamps that go over the pole they should have enough tightening power to keep the light in this position otherwise some of the lights you will see the bracket itself has more than one hole it maybe has three holes or two holes so what you can do is you can add an additional uh, clamp so then it can take more weight when it's hanging from this position so that's basically it that's my idea on the on the subject uh, if I can explain it in any other way, uh, feel free to comment, leave a comment on my YouTube page, then there will be more videos shortly. So, thanks a lot. This is Yandre from Stallion Sound. Enjoy your music.